So I'm gonna go in order of favorite to least favorite in terms of my smells. And, but also my unbox today will be my actual favorite, but it's a surprise at the end. So the second runner up um, for my perfume collection is from the House of Siliage. Um, this is from the Disney collection. Um, this is a signature smell. Um, the actual name is called Whispers of Truth. And you guys, this smell is so feminine. It's a mixture of musk um, and some other lovely smells that very captivating. Um, I get compliments on it wherever I go. It's it's retailing for about $4.95, um, but you can find it on Lucky Scent or the actual House of Siliage website and um, shop around for different prices, but it's around a good $350 to $400 range. Um, so after smelling this smell, I decided to try another smell from the same collection, House of Siliage. I love the cupcakes, by the way. They're real Swarovski crystals on top. And it's so like girly, it exuberates femininity. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, attract right now in my life you know, my feminine side. So this one is called Whispers of Strength. <laughs> it's so good. It's like a really flowery, flowery um, summer smell. It's really good for the summertime versus um, House, I mean, the Whispers of Truth. It's a versatile smell to wear all year around, but this is definitely a spring summer vibe smell. Um, so again, it's called Whispers of Strength and love, love the crystals on top. This one doesn't have as much, but you can see this is to die for. Well worth it. Um, so my third runner up, which it was a battle, is called Another 13. It is from Le Labo, and this smell is a really good everyday smell. I'm gonna spray some right now. It's a good everyday smell, girl on the go, going to run errands, going to the gym. You'll get lots of compliments on this as well. You can also wear it on a night out, but for the night out smell, I like to go more feminine um, with the House of Siliage smells. So this runs, um, this was a 1.7 ounce. This was about um, almost $200 for this. Um, um, fluid ounce if you want to go bigger it's going to cost you more you can also get the travel size if there were about 80 bucks for the travel size oops gotta be careful and then my fourth runner up which these this is a very popular smell right now it's the Mosson. i could never pronounce it forgive me Mosson francois Crux dijon pali baccarat pretty much baccarat and this is a unisex smell as you can tell, like I use it a lot. I've had it for about a year now. And it's a musky smell. So it depends on your um, your preference in terms of if you're into more flory, fruity, or musky. So this is more on the muskier side. Um, but I per it grew on me. I personally like it. And I mix it with um, the satin oud mood, which is um, the oil, body oil. So it um, uh, accentuates this smell versus if you wear it by itself, you know, it creates its own smell. So, so again, Baccarat Rouge, very common, very famous. Everyone's been talking about it, which is why I got it. And I paired it with the Satin Oud. My four, fifth runner up is Tiffany, which is, this one is called, um, I forgot the name of it. So it's from Tiffany and Company. Um, but just look for this bottle. It has an Anne sign, it's blue. It smells so feminine and floral. And I can't, I don't wanna mix it with another 13, but this is definitely my, my boyfriend at the time when I started using this was all over me. I get compliments every time I wear this. And the only thing I don't lack, like about it, it doesn't last as long. It takes, wears off for about a few hours. But um, it definitely is um, 
prominent when it's when it's um, newly sprayed. And it's also better to spray it on your body versus on your clothing. So hopefully you don't have any allergic reactions or anything. For me, it's been good. I must say, um, the Baccarat and or the oil, this did um, cause some reaction on my skin. So now I just sprayed on my clothing. So when starting a collection, it's good to kind of know your sensitivity and be aware if it's causing any breakouts in your skin. The next one I have is Tom Ford um, Soleil Blanc. This is such a great summer smell, beach. I bring this whenever I'm going on vacations. Um, it's just a beach vibe smell. Um, it just smells like summer. And I, I wouldn't imagine wearing it any other time of year. Um, I'm not sure what they're mixed. This is mixed with, but it's more sweet. Um, versus fruity. Um, forgive me, I'm new to this whole perfume thing. The next video I'll do, I'll definitely have more information on exactly what type of smells are in what. Um, but this is just my take on it and what my favorites are. This is um, Fenty. I recently bought this because it was a big hype and then it was off the market, it was sold out and I was like, oh my gosh, well, as soon as it comes out, I have to try so let's see what the bottle looks like i've been so excited waiting for this look it has two little tassels so girly and it smells heavenly i have to i have to try it even though i have the other one on oh. Oh. guys of all the smells that I've talked about today, this is my favorite. It's up there with um, the House of Siliage Whispers of Truth. You will not go wrong getting this one or this one. <laughs> but if I really, really had to choose, if I really had to choose, I would choose this one, but they're both fire, fire. So this is the new addition to my collection. Let me show you guys um, how it looks. I bought a um, perfume tray. No, I think I kind of ran out of room here. Let's see how I can do this. I'm starting to add like way too many miscellaneous things. I need a bigger perfume rack. Okay. Let's put this here. So here is my collection and counting. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this video. I'm gonna do a separate video on my unboxing stuff because I feel like this one took a long time to get everything um, out there. But um, please, please, please like, subscribe this video. More content to come around um, hair, makeup, mostly for beginners, because I'm a beginner. Um, uh, you over you haul and um, fashion, um, daily vlogging of you know my life, everyday life, travel, fine dining, going out with friends. So it's really just a girly, you know girl on the go type of vibe channel but it's also educational um and you get to know more about me as time goes on thank you so much bye